Emotional intelligence. <laughs> Leaders often are wrestling with this. In fact, the research shows that this is the separator as a leader to be more emotionally intelligent versus just intelligent. Right? You know the know-it-alls, the people that seem to know all the facts, the data, they know how to do their jobs. But the people that know how to relate to people and connect on an emotional level really are changing the game inside corporate cultures and developing inclusive leadership skills. So in our workshop, we cover three key learning objectives around strengthening emotional intelligence. The first, taking an inventory of your own emotional intelligence characteristics from empathy to self-actualization. We cover five key ingredients that are important to showing up authentically and being in tune with your own emotions. Second, we talk about the neuroscience behind emotional intelligence. It has so much to do with what's going on up here, how we show up hot, <laughs> how we show up emotionally, unemotionally. Uh, it has everything to do with our limbic system and this neocortex. And when they're in sync, it's great. When they're not, we might say and do things we might not normally do. Which brings us to the third learning point is about knowing your triggers. What are the things that set you off as a leader? Is it when someone doesn't follow through? Is it when somebody says something that you perceive to not be kind? What is it before you have an emotional, what we would call a hijack, losing it a little bit, what happens? And then we work on specific strategies to proactively manage those triggers so they don't bubble up as much and you can address them even in the moment with some proven techniques. Join me at nextpivotpoint.com. There you can learn about all of our training and speaking offerings. We would love to speak with your organization about this topic or others around diversity, leadership, and career development.